What's up folks, how's it going, this watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be comparing the Logitech Stream Cam versus the Razer Keo Pro. Both of these are dedicated webcams that can shoot 1080p, 60 frames per second. The Keo Pro can also shoot HDR video at 30 frames per second, but the Logitech Stream Cam has this thing called backlight correction where it will bring out some shadow details as well as preserve some of the highlights. Right now we're actually shooting with both cameras in the exact same lighting situation, kind of a high key lit scene white background, black MW Technology t-shirt, and it kind of gives you guys an idea in terms of how these cameras compare against each other in terms of a video performance uh, based on this side-by-side -side comparison. We're also going to be taking a look at some more naturally lit scenes and also talk about the overall design of both cameras as well as the feature set and ultimately determine which one has the best overall value if you're looking for a dedicated 1080p webcam. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now first let's talk about the mounting options on both cameras. Now both the Logitech and Razer cameras have standard quarter inch mounting capabilities. With the Logitech Stream Cam there's actually a special attachment that has that quarter inch mount and on the Kio Pro it's directly at the bottom of the camera. So that means you can easily mount both cameras onto any tripod or mounting attachment. And both cameras come with included mounts for any kind of monitor or laptop screen. And both mounts are fairly stable and secure and provide a decent amount of pan and tilt options to get the right angle for your shot. Now the one cool thing about the Logitech Stream Cam is that it can actually be mounted both in vertical and horizontal position. It actually has an accelerometer that will sense that rotation. So if you want to shoot a 9x16 image for smartphone format, social media posts, Instagram, Facebook stories, TikTok, things like that, the Logitech definitely has that capability better suited. You can do so with the Kio Pro but you're going to need to find a attachment that will rotate the uh, camera 90 degrees since that does not come with it in the box. Now both cameras are connected to a PC or Mac using a wired cable. On the Stream Cam it's actually a built-in USB-C type connection and on the Kia Pro it's actually a port with a separate uh, USB-C T type A connector which for me is definitely more convenient since I have a lot more USB type A connections on my motherboard and laptop compared to type C which is the case for most people out there and the cool thing is I can still use a USB-C to USB-C cable on the Kia Pro since it utilizes its own port versus the built-in connection that forces you to USB-C only for the most part on the stream cam. Now both have a built-in microphones and for the most part most people are not going to be utilizing the built-in mics. They're probably going to use a headset or a separate microphone for better audio quality but if you are going to be using the built-in mics I think the Kia Pro has the better microphone definitely sounds clear to my ears, less compressed, and the overall voice pickup is definitely better defined. Something you guys have may have discovered during the intro portion of this video. Now in terms of the optics, uh, both are actually quite similar, have a maximum aperture rating of f2 on the lens as well as a focal length of 3.7 on the stream cam and 3.8 on the Kio Pro and in terms of field of view the Logitech only has one set field of view at 78 degrees versus we have three on the Kio Pro 103 wide 90 degrees medium and a linear 80 degrees. Beyond that, one thing I did like about the Logitech Stream Cam is the autofocusing capability is extremely fast, responsive, and quite accurate compared to the Kio Pro, which definitely hunts around to find its focusing point and at times it gets completely lost and the overall system is a little bit more wonky and slower and less accurate compared to the AF on the Logitech side. Now moving forward, let's talk about the actual image quality coming out of both webcams. Now, we did our test using Open Broadcaster with the exact same compression settings, video format, color space to get the closest side-by-side -side comparison possible. One thing I noticed straight out of the box is that the Logitech stream cam is heavily compressed directly inside the camera. Built-in sharpness, a huge boost in terms of contrast ratio, exposure, and brightness in order to make the subject, typically a person, look as flattering as possible, smooth out skin tones, enhance facial features. And when we're trying to evaluate the overall clarity and sharpness level of the camera, 
camera, you can certainly see uh, these things pop out when a human subject is not in frame. So, for example, in the shot of the Millennium Falcon, you can see that uh, the stream cam looks pretty good, very vibrant and decently sharp, but there's a lot of details and artifacts being made through all that post-processing versus the Kio Pro by default doesn't have a lot of post-processing built inside the camera, so things look a lot more neutral and more realistic, and there's definitely a lot more details preserved with less artifacts. Furthermore, with the HDR capabilities of the Kio Pro, in certain situations that demand a lot of dynamic range, the Kio Pro is also going to shine where you're going to see details in extreme highlight situations outside a window, as well as shadow details being well preserved, versus most of those things are going to be completely lost and blown out on the Logitech stream cam. But the stream cam looks still pretty good. In fact, it does a great job of isolating the subject from the background, makes the subject pop a lot more straight out of the box. And for 99% of people doing video calls or any kind of uh, let's players or anything that's going to be in a picture in picture where your actual uh, video feed is going to take a smaller portion of the entire image, it is probably a benefit to have that kind of look. And certainly with some adjustments, the Kio Pro can look similar to the stream cam. You can go into the Razer Synapse software suite and increase the exposure, brightness levels, contrast ratio to make your image pop a lot more and probably turn off the HDR mode to again separate the subject more from the background and achieve that similar look that we're getting from the stream cam. But you can't go the other way around, importantly, with the stream cam. If you want those details preserved in the highlights and shadows, you need to have that information available to you and the Logitech simply doesn't. It doesn't have the dynamic range or the latitude to keep those details intact versus the Kio Pro does, making it the more versatile camera. Now, of course, the trade-off of the HDR feature is the fact that you can do 60 frames per second 1080p. Your frame rate does go down to 30 FPS, which is uh, perfectly fine for people making video calls and things like that. But uh, for gaming, if you want everything to be 60 frames per second, including your video feed, that might be a limitation thus far. And obviously in terms of the 4K dedicated webcam space, there's definitely a lot of limitations in terms of product availability. We did test out the Logitech Brio middle of last year with our ultimate webcam comparison video. If you haven't watched that video, check that out in the description down below. But the actual image quality of the Logitech Brio wasn't as good as the stream cam, surprisingly. And more significantly, the internet bandwidth limitations that most people have to deal with probably won't yield any kind of significant gains with a 4K video camera that they typically wouldn't see with a 1080p camera. And for gamers or any circumstance where you're utilizing a picture and picture broadcast situation, where your actual uh, video live feed is occupying a smaller portion of the screen, it's probably not best to waste CPU cycles on processing a 4K webcam signal when the actual broadcast quality of that image might look the same, if not better, with a 1080p webcam signal. Now, lastly, one thing I have to mention, in extreme low light situations, the Kio Pro definitely has an advantage. It's actually using a Stravos imaging sensor, which is typically found on security and CCTV cameras, which which have to be ultra low light sensitive. So in extreme situations like this, where we're just in a pitch black room and only the monitor is our main light source, you can see on the stream cam, the image is extremely dark. It's really struggling to get any kind of proper exposure, but the Kio Pro image actually is somewhat usable. You can see that my face and other features in the scene are exposed relatively well. We can actually use this image if we wanted to, although optimally you probably want to turn on an auxiliary light to get better overall video quality for your stream or video call. But in this extreme dimly lit situation, the Kio Pro definitely has an advantage here. Now, in conclusion, if you're looking for a 1080p camera, I think both of them are fantastic and offer a great set of features. But if we were to conclude which one is probably the most versatile camera, it would have to be the Razer Kio Pro. With the uncompressed high dynamic range video capturing capabilities, the choices to use ultra wide angle field of views as well as the built-in microphone that makes you sound less like you're underwater it's certainly the more versatile dedicated webcam in my opinion but the logitech stream cam still has some things going for it in the sense that typically you can find it around 20 to 30 dollars cheaper on amazon it also provides a great out-of-the-box experience in terms of making you the subject look as 
optimized as possible for your live streams or video calls without having to tweak the settings or deal with special software. But really on that guys, that's really it. Definitely love to know what you guys think is the best 1080p dedicated webcam that's available right now. I think in the next couple of months, the Kio Pro is probably going to pick up some speed and attention. I probably won't make people replace their stream cams, but certainly might sway uh, others that haven't got into a dedicated streaming 1080p cam for their uh, Let's Play or Twitch setup. So definitely enough to know what you guys think. Again, make sure you have post notifications turned on so you get our content once it becomes available. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and check out the description down below for more details about everything we talked about. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you later. Take care.